Good evening, one and all. Myself, I am Aswashit. I am pursuing my seventh year in section in Sri Anjana School. Today, I am going to explain about the Indian geographical map. In here, the India contains the geographical features like Trans Himalayas, Himalayas, Indian Desert, Northern Plains, Central Highland, Deccan Plateau, Western Ghats, Eastern Ghats, and the Northeast India. Now, coming to the part of Trans Himalayas. Trans Himalayas mainly composed of volcanic rocks and the granites, which are related to the Neogen and Paleogen age. Here, these three Trans Himalayas are also included Karakoram and Zaskar and also the Ladakh ranges. Here, these Ladakh la, these are located at Himachal Pradesh and also the Ladakh. Coming to the point of Himalayans. Himalayans are the youngest non-folding Hima ranges where we can see the rough mountains and which are mainly influencing the climatic, climatic regions of the India. Here, the Himalayas are very useful for changing the climatic region of our India. And coming to the point of Indian deserts, this Indian desert was located at the Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana and the Gujarat. And Ra Rajasthan, which we are majorly called as Thar Desert, and here this all is covered 2 lakh kilometers square in area and it forms natural boundaries between the Pakistan and our India. Here you can see the clear thing that Pakistan and the India was dividing by this Rajasthan and Star Desert. And coming to the point of Northern Plains. Northern Plains are the plains where the alluvial deposits of the three major river systems like Indus, Ganga and Brahmaputra were included here with the tributaries. And here the Plains are very fertile for the agriculture and some other things. These are located at the uh, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, and Jharkhand, and partly of West Bengal. And come to point of the Central Highlands. The Central Highlands are the things which we can see where it is a sloping. And here the rivers flow from the Southeast to the northwest means southeast to northwest, and here the we can see the slope. Here we can see, and coming to the point of the Deccan Plateau, Deccan Plateau is a place where the dry deciduous forest was cleared totally. Here the man activities like agriculture the grazing and all the things were done uh, so that we can call the dry deciduous forest was totally cleared here and come to the point the uh, plants which will grow the cotton sugarcane and other things it is cleared uh, it was covered the maharashtra the karnataka and andhra pradesh and, pa and the telangana Coming to the point of the Western Ghats. Western Ghats are the Ghats where we can see a different type of flora and fauna. And here we can see the things like uh, Loctuck Lake and other things. Coming to the point of uh, Eastern Ghats. Eastern Ghats are the place where we can see so much of flora and fauna and also the sea port. Here, the Vishakapatnam, our state was famously known for the harbour and here the sea transportation was well and here we can also see the flora like endemic tree uh, system and also the fauna like Indian bison, deer, uh, tigers etc. And coming to the point of the northeast india the northeast india was coming was clear uh, covered the west
वेस्ट बेंगल अपार्ट एंड आसा मेघालय त्रिपुरा मिजोरम मणिपुर एंड नागालैंड हियर द इन फैक्ट हियर इट इज गेट वे ऑफ द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ वाइट फ्लोरा एंड फाउना एंड यूनिक थिंग्स हियर वी कैन सी इन सो मच ऑफ लेक्स एंड फाउना एंड फ्लोरा हियर वी कैन ऑल्सो सी द हिल्स गैरो एक्सेट्रा एंड हियर इट वॉज we can clearly see that a part from the seven sisters arunachal pradesh assam assam meghalaya tripura mizoram manipur and nagaland except the arunachal pradesh the six six states are covered here along with the part of the west bengal so here these all are the parts of the geographical map and it is main for the other things the tall about the indian geography and here which which include the tip of the north and the south and every state has a different kind of region and a climate and these are the main things we should learn for our future